Hey everyone, Jason Weckerly here. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to tie streamer flies for white bass and walleye fishing. You'll catch saugers on these things, crappies, the occasional pike, sometimes a catfish or sheep's head, but walleyes and white bass love these streamer flies fished on three-way rigs also known as the Wolf River Rig here in the state of Wisconsin and the upper Midwest, the Great White North. But I've been doing this for about 30 years. My dad taught me how to do this. And he always told me that when he was up in Oshkosh fishing the Fox River or he was fishing the Rock River in southern Wisconsin, the Wisconsin River, around the Wisconsin Dells, or the Mississippi River. He always seen these guys throwing Wolf River rigs, three-way rigs with streamer flies. And slowly but surely, this technique caught on. I remember tying a ton of streamer flies and selling them to walleye pro Keith Cavias a long time ago. And he said he did really good on them. I mean, this is a technique that can literally some days be the only technique that works. And most guys are throwing jigs and plastics, live bait, catching nothing. And a piece of hair and tinsel tied on a hook is, so, is somehow the leading bait. And these streamer flies, they tend to be about two and a half to three inches long. And... I tend to tie smaller ones for white bass. You'll still catch walleyes on the smaller ones. And I go no longer than three inches, two and three fourth inches when I tie streamer flies. But they mimic bait fish, minnows, darting through the water. And you just use these things on three-way rigs which you can look up on the internet. I'll do a video sometime soon on what a three-way rig is and how to tie one and the different ways of tying them for either live bait fishing, trolling, casting, whatever. But in this video, this is just a fly tying lesson and some information on these type of baits. So let's get started. And I hope you enjoy this video. Well, really quick, I'm going to go over some of the components that go into making these streamer flies we use for walleyes and white bass. And this is a box of older ones I made in an assortment of different colors. And I've caught fish in every single color, so... Let your mind go wild sometimes. I mean, there's certain colors that work great, like purple and red and green and mixtures of purple and white or green and white, red and white, blue and white. Sometimes they want orange and yellow. Sometimes a chartreuse and a pink. You just never know, but there's certain colors I stand by and... I'm sure you can kind of see some of the patterns here. But what you need is some tinsel. This is Flashaboo Accent Tinsel. I tend to go across the back of the flies or a little light on that material. You can go with this thicker tinsel right here. 1 100th micro flashaboo, purple, gold, and well, I got my cats meowing over here, sorry. But I go with red, green, white, black, light blue, and purple tinsel. And I just kind of make a bunch of uh, color combinations out of the tinsel and the hair 
and the flashaboo accent that I have. These ones I tied for like the past probably 15 years. So you live and you learn, but you don't need to use too much tinsel on your flies. Make them about two and a half to two and three quarter inches long, three inches long at the very most, but that's pushing it. Because many days these fish want smaller flies, smaller minnows, because these streamer flies are made to kind of mimic bait fish and minnows in the water but they do like some wacky color combinations. But let's get started and I'll show you guys how to tie these very simple flies. Another really important tip is to get yourself a good or decent thread bobbin. And this thread right here made by Danville is by far my favorite thread so far that I've ever tried. And I've been fly tying for a number of years now, about two decades. This is very thin and strong thread, but get yourself a decent thread bobbin. This isn't the best one. You don't need anything fancy. And just learn about how hard you can pull down on a thread when you're tying. It will break if you pull too hard when you're fly tying, but just get yourself a bunch of this Danville thread, different colors for different types of baits you want to tie. I'm going to start out today with purple because I'm going to do some purple, red, and gold streamer flies starting out. One of my favorite colors. So let's get started here. All right, to start with, you want, like I said, a quality thread like Danville. I do not have any sponsorship through Danville or anything. I just love this thread. A lot of fly tires stand by it. Another thing you will need is a fly head cement or you can just go shopping in your wife or your girlfriend's uh, beauty section where they sell the nail polish and get yourself some Sally Hansen hard as nails. This stuff to me is the best fly head cement, the cheapest, even comes with a nice little uh, brush, which makes things easier. But uh, you're going to want to tie your streamer flies about two and a half to three inches at the very most. I go about two and a half, two and three quarter inches. The walleyes like that size, the white bass, the crappies, perch. I've caught pike, catfish, everything on these streamer flies. So just gotta get this in there. Make sure you wear safety protection. And we're gonna start out with a red belly. So you don't have to use too much hair. These bucktails will make you a lot of flies if you're frugal. Excuse me, sitting here burping. But a little pair of scissors. Actually, what am I doing right now? First, you wrap your thread around the fish hook, starting in the middle, all the way up and back again. Just like so, chop the excess off and I take that Sally's hard as nail. And just give it a little dab. Kind of secures the thread to the hook. And this is a tip. If you're learning fly fishing, this is a tip for all of you. 
these are the basics of fly fishing or fly fishing fly tying oh you're talking like an idiot do you want to start out with about two and a half to three inches of belly and you don't want to use too much thread you don't have to have a huge hat on your fly don't even have to use too much thread it takes a little bit of practice practice makes perfect but there we go then I'm gonna go with some gold tinsel by the way this is one of my favorite color flies these are uh, purple red with some gold just using a little bit of tinsel and I kind of like to build my streamer flies the belly is the shortest length of fur the back the back fur hair whatever is uh the longest kind of gives it that streamline minnow look but again you don't have to use too much thread this is by far not my best work i'm not trying to build a masterpiece here i could do some very fine work if i sat there taking my good old time but you don't need to have your streamer flies looking perfect in fact i have caught on days when the white bass and walleyes are biting i have caught literally hundreds of white bass on a fly that was so torn up all there was was a couple threads of tinsel left no more hair just they tore it up and they were still eating it but you know us fishermen are sold on the looks of flies i've seen guys do some works of art with streamer flies and uh when it comes to bass and pike i understand it when it comes to walleyes and white bass that barely have any time in the murky river to even sit there and think about what they're looking at as it's whipping by in the current you don't have to tie a perfect fly all right i got the purple the gold tinsel the red i'm just going to take a little bit of purple flashaboo accent it's called this just gives it a little bit of flash and flare might be more appealing to my eyes than the fishes but it's been seeming to work for 20 years for me this pattern purple and red purple and white green and white blue and white red and white green and red i mean when i say green and red i mean green back red belly purple back red belly purple back white belly orange back yellow belly i just kind of match the silver tinsel with the white colors and gold tinsel with the darker colors sometimes they just want a red fly with gold tinsel or a purple fly with gold tinsel but this purple and red seems to be a good fish catcher everywhere i've used it from the mississippi river to the fox river to the rock river now to round this off I know there's a tool that helps you tie at the end of uh, every single fly you tie, but I just give it three or four good wraps. 
These flies are absolutely deadly if you're not using them when you're out walleye fishing, white bass fishing on the rivers. You might not be catching fish because I've watched these flies during the springtime especially. 75% of the time I'm watching flies catch most of the fish over plastics, a lot of times over live bait. The last thing I'm going to do now is just take just trim off some of that excess hair. And just take that Sally's hard as nails. Finish off that thread. You don't have to use too much. That stuff is like cement. All right. Size sits hook, about a two and three quarter inch streamer fly right here. Purple with red belly. One of the most deadly walleye and white bass baits on the river. You can catch them on hair jigs, jigs and plastics, crank baits, jerk baits, whatever you want. But I guarantee you any river these are gonna work and sometimes be your best, your best bait on the river day in and day out. Spring and fall, but during the springtime, especially when the walleyes are post spawn and the white bass start running up river, bam, 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 one fish after another. If you guys like this video, subscribe to my page, hit the like button help my page out. It's free. You just got to hit subscribe. You'll get my latest content videos. And I'm very thankful for all of you who have done this for me already. Very thankful. It's been a hard climb to a thousand subscribers because I'm doing this all for free right now. And I'd like to make some YouTube income eventually making these videos. I don't mind making them. I like documenting these memories, but it would be nice to hit a thousand or more subscribers, see the page take off more. And that all has to do with you guys helping me out. And hopefully these tutorial videos, my fishing adventures help you guys out sometimes. Try these streamer flies out five to six foot long leader to a three-way swivel, about an eight to one foot leader to a pencil lead sinker, anywhere between a half ounce to one ounce. Just slowly jig it along the bottom, troll it, just giving that rod a pump and you'll catch walleyes and white bass, limits of them. Take care.